Hi everybody, Levi Clay here, and this is just a quick little announcement to remind you, or to let you know at least, that if you are in the UK on the 23rd or 24th of February, that's in two weeks time, and you head on over to Birmingham, you can check out the Guitar Show 2019. Now, this is a guitar show, as the name would suggest, and you will get to check out a lot of gear from some of the top retailers from all over the world. Now, guitar shows, especially in the UK, have a long and also troubled history. I think the Guitar Show in Birmingham is probably the last remaining one, and it's a great place to go if you want to check out some of the cool high-end boutique gear that's being made in the UK, but also, you know, test out some, some other gear, meet some nice people, check some cool live performances, and enjoy some workshops. So there are some great, of course, there are some great performers there this year. Uh, Vigier have brought over Bumblefoot, Ron Thal, who, uh, you know, is a legend of, uh, of shred guitar and creative guitar history in Guns N' Roses, and one of the nicest people that you could ever hope to meet, so he would be worth checking out. Chris Buck will also be playing, a fabulous player who I have transcribed on this channel, and Ainsley Lister will be playing, who is somebody that I interviewed a long time ago for Guitar Interactive magazine. Again, fabulous player, so well worth checking out. There are a list of other players, check it out on their website, it may appeal to you. But of course, the most interesting thing for me is getting to check out gear, play some new gear, meet some people, test some things out, see what you like, and yeah, have some fun. So the list is endless, well, it's not literally endless, but it's a very long list of people that are attending. I'm just going to reel off some of them now, and of course there are some friends of my channel and friends of the Guitar Souls podcast. So of course I would recommend that you go and check out Rev Amplification. Those guys will be there, the distributor will be there, so it should be an opportunity for you to try out a couple of the amps, like the Generator series, or of course the one that everyone is really buzzing about is the G3, and I'm not sure if they'll have a G4 pedal there, but either way, everybody needs one of those pedals. They are you know, phenomenal. Uh, Didario Strings will be there. I've been playing Didario for many years now and they have been a great supporter of my work so I love those guys and outside of the great strings that they make they also make lots of other cool accessories. I have you know like clip-on tuners and even just silly things like string winders. They make my job a lot easier so yeah Didario will be there. Vigier will be there of course. I have a long history with Vigier. I've been playing Vigier guitars for uh, what six years now and uh, my red Excalibur is still my main shred guitar. I love that guitar. It's home. It's part of my identity. So head on over, check Vigier out and uh, yeah, see what they've got on offer. And of course, thank them for bringing Bumblefoot over. Uh, yeah. Ormsby guitars. Now, personally speaking, I don't have a strong relationship with Ormsby, but they are friends and supporters of the Guitar Souls podcast. Mike is an Ormsby player. I love the Ormsby stuff. I'd be very happy if Ormsby wanted to send me a guitar. Uh, the most popular video on my channel is actually one where I'm talking about an Ormsby guitar, so maybe there's something to that. Um, so guys, maybe like a fan fret hype machine six string seven seven string seven string fan fret get it on the go also check out k max new video on that because uh, that's absolutely fabulous uh, music nomad now these guys are distributors and i've known ben who works for music nomad for a very very long time uh, he is an excellent industry guy very nice guy and they make a lot of instrument care products and especially when i was playing a lot of fretless guitar the uh, cymbal cleaner that they make is you know, an excellent piece of kit for cleaning cymbals, but also great for cleaning a fretless board. So yeah, check out some of the Music Nomad stuff if you want to keep your guitar in tip-top condition. And then finally is Madison and Fifth, who are another distributor, and they distribute a fair amount of products, but two that jump out to me would be VPix, who are a supporter of the channel, and actually Rock Slide. So I play slide guitar a lot, as you know, I'm just looking around to see if I can see one of my Rock Slides, and for some reason, it's not sat where it should be. Uh, it's probably in a slide holder somewhere. But yeah, I've played Rock Slides for a long time now as well. I love their slides, and yeah, those, you know, read my slide books, and of course, those are uh, the guys that I recommend. So I love the uh, Rock Slide stuff. But of course, those are the companies that I have relationships with. There are a bunch of other companies that I don't have a, a relationship with that I absolutely would be spending a bunch of time around the booths of. So for example, Bare Knuckle Pickups, love their pickups. They're in most of my guitars, and I would like many, many more of them. Uh, Godan Guitars, I'm I'm a big fan of the Godin stuff. I have the Multiac. I would love to get my hands on one of the Multiac um, 
gypsy jazz guitars those things look absolutely fabulous they make a, a great line of guitars i actually really dig their electrics as well so check some of those out uh walrus audio what you're going to see now is a lot of effects companies origin effects i've got a list here of some of the effects pedals companies t-rex pigtronics Maxon. I've wanted a Maxon SD9 for so many years now, I still don't have one in my collection. Um, Earthquaker devices, Dark Glass Electronics. These are all, you know, they make high end pedals. And actually, there are a bunch of pedal companies that are attending that I was unfamiliar with. But that's the beauty of a show like this. Go down, try some things out. You might find something absolutely magical. Uh, diesel amps will be there. Diesel amps are a mainstay of the UK guitar. Uh, show scene. I've spent many times on the diesel booth over the years enjoying myself and, and craving a diesel amp. So yeah, I like their stuff. And Ibanez, how could I not mention Ibanez? Uh, the guys over at Ibanez are kind, good people. I've done some collaborations with Lee Rafe, who of course works for, for Ibanez and Martin Miller, one of my best friends, is a signature Ibanez artist. So we can't not make mention of Ibanez. And their 2019 lineup looks fantastic and their 2018 lineup was also excellent. So yeah, head on over there and see how that goes for you. Now, here's the disappointing part. I don't believe I'm going to be at the show. I know Mike, my co-host on the Guitar Souls podcast, definitely won't be on the show. And that's a shame because Ormsby are there, but he's touring with Party Cannon when the show is on, unfortunately. Um, I won't be there because actually nobody asked me to go, which is kind of awkward, right? Maybe... I should really check to see if I've got any phone, but it must be a mistake on someone's part, right? Ha <laughs> ha. What are you guys doing? So yeah, I won't be there, unfortunately, but uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll be able to work something out. Um, I'd completely forgot about the show, to be honest, and someone, one of the Guitar Souls uh, podcast fans, reminded me about it today, and uh, yeah, I thought, well, what a great opportunity to talk about this, because it is a great opportunity to go down to something like this. As I say, the uh, guitar scene and guitar shows in this country, they are few and far between, and it's because they are not overly well attended and we need a budding music community a music scene it needs to be viable for companies to put on events like this uh, because when these things disappear you'll really notice it so if you are in Birmingham or can be in Birmingham on the 23rd and 24th of February that's in two weeks time head on over to the guitar show I believe tickets are £12.50 if you order in advance you will have a great time let some people know that I sent you much love guys and I will see you for another video soon laters